Hello, Gethsemane and friends. I wanted to say a word about Candlemas today. So today's Thursday Candlemas is one week from today. Um, we will be gathering for a potluck supper at 6 p.m. and then there will be a mass to follow. And uh, the thing about early February is that we um, can't really see it yet, but spring is just around the corner. The sap begins to run in the maple trees and the light that we know in our heads has been growing since that winter solstice is really starting to, um, to noticeably grow each day. So we come together with people all over the world who um, commemorate this time, this very, very early spring. And we have um, our own tradition of the Feast of the Presentation of Our Lord. And the way that passage ends, it talks about Jesus growing in wisdom and strength. And so this idea of goodness growing, um, we are going to come together on Thursday, February 1st. We're going to bring candles if you want to, and there will be um, a little ceremony around blessing those candles. And then we will have a procession and have just a normal kind of shortened mass. So I hope that you will consider coming. And I wanted to say a word, especially to those of you with children. Um, when I think about growing up in church, like the stuff that wasn't children's programming where we were separated, I think about the sound of the hymns being sung in a you know beautifully acoustic space. I think about the taste of the little communion cracker and grape juice. Um, I think about the lighting, especially for an evening service, because it was different. It was different than how I experienced that space um, on Sunday mornings. And so I just want to say a word to you about the importance of bringing children to these kind of these extracurricular things, <laughs> these evening masses that we do uh, between having the dinner and having just a relaxed time of fellowship to, like I said, the sights and the sounds that are different about the the worship time together, I really think it's a very formative and wonderful thing in the life of our children. And it should be over um, before eight o'clock. So not not terribly late, even for younger children. So I hope that you will consider coming to Candlemas. That's my plug. The other thing I thought we would do today is just a little bit of um, daily devotions. So Morning prayer is a very long service. We're not doing that today, but there's this wonderful section in our prayer book, which may be backwards for you. It says daily devotions for individuals and families, and it's just one page. And I really want to keep that before us and hope that it will um, help you to get in a daily or regular practice of using the prayer book for um, your prayer time, um, your devotional time. And this, this very short office, as we call them, really makes it extremely accessible. So we're going to pray that together. Um, if you have a prayer book and you want to pause this video or pull up www.bcponline.org, um, it's page 137. Let us pray. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from First Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Thanks be to God. The instructions say that a period of silence may follow, and I would encourage you, if you have the time, to go ahead and pause this video, maybe set a timer and spend some time in meditation or intercession or prayer of any variety. We also remember before God today, those who have asked for our prayers, those on our Gethsemane urgent need, long-term need, those in the military, and those preparing for ordination, as well as all of those celebrating this week, whether birthday, anniversary, or other. And now we pray together the prayer our Lord taught us to pray. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power. We may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grace and peace to you.